Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Basement once again. Today's beverage is... <sighs> Fresh orange with juicy bits as well. Mm. I know I uh, I had this uh, the other day as well on a video and people said, why do you have juicy bits with it? Well, why not? It's uh, it's just a bit of meat in there and you can, you know, chew on a couple of things. Anyway, it sort of gets stuck in your teeth though, which is a little bit annoying, but it's tasty. So... This is Basement, featured it before, many people like to see this. Why am I featuring it again? I didn't really like it the last time I did it because it was just, there's a, there's a couple little niggles. It's still Alpha Game is Alpha, but there's been an update. So this is version 0.2.1 and I thought I would give it a go. By the look of the patch notes, it's actually been improved a hell of a lot. So hopefully I will actually like it. There's been a couple of additions. There's been... Um, the addition of a couple of more, a couple more characters now. You actually have a dealer room which you can build anywhere. So you can, as you can see in my stat district, I actually have a dealer room there. And there's a dealer, one of the new characters, walking around picking things up. I'm just going to build a. I think a grow box because uh, we want to have uh, some more grow box and stuff. Uh, you can now control the the vehicles that come from garages and stuff, which again is a massive improvement. Like fantastic, get in. I've been wanting to do that since I ever well, since I started playing it, and I think they've changed the way power works. I think power is now a global thing, but I could be wrong about that. Oh no, it's not. It's not. You can see it's actually above each one there, so maybe it's still difficult to uh, mess around with stuff. Anyway, I want to hire another person. I want to hire J, Harvey, or Andy. I think we will go for. Production is 1.6, 2.3, 1.8. Oh, Harvey, obviously, production. You can see we've now got sell rate and spread. So, basically, your sell rate is what you do, or your dealer wants. You want a high sell rate on your dealer. And spread, I think it, like, increases the amount of junkies that come to your area. All these guys here, these are junkies. So, originally, they were always there. They were just hanging around in the background. But, you now actually have... Um, they now actually have the junkies sort of taking an active part in the game. They're not just sort of scenery. They will come in, as you can see, there's a junkie there, and they'll stand in your little dealer room, and then they will actually buy some drugs, and obviously your dealer will start selling them. However, if you don't manage to meet the needs of the junkies that come in, then they can easily come downstairs and start beating people up, which is why what I want to do is dig these bits out and actually have two security rooms, because it's not going to go well if they come down and start beating me up. Actually, there's uh, someone that's very unhappy there, new little symbol look oh they're unhappy because they need to sit down on the uh on the sort of little weird sofa room that's all it is it's just a sofa room let me quickly build another security depot because i want two security people they still haven't added the ability so you can gang up on people you can't have two security guys or two goons actually fighting someone else which is really really annoying but you know maybe later on right so we need to hire a worker 19 18 and 16 for punchy punchy i think we're gonna go for leonard because he's the highest actually no we'll go for daryl and we'll go for leonard uh, we can't go for leonard just yet now we can because I was waiting for that room there. So now I've got two goons. Excellent. I think I might take over the garage because I can. Now, though, when you attack, you can see we've got this big red button. Big red, like, sort of uh, fist button. We can click that and say, all right, Daniel Leonard, there we go. You attack that one. So it's a lot smoother, actually. It is a lot smoother, I must confess. It's the, it's a definitely a step in the right direction. Mm. And this music, though, it's really aggressive. Everything about it is aggressive. There you go. Look, the punching. But I can't gang up on them, which is a shame. Right, so we're going to send them back. Move back there. And get back on the couch. We're going to dig this out. And we're only got 335 generic units of currency. So that's not great. And we're maxed out on more stuff. So, we now have a garage. You can see we've actually got a truck in there. But we can't control it because... Uh, we've got nowhere to really send it to. There's no reason to actually expand really fast now because there's a nice bar there which got a couple of people in it, but I want to take that out. Uh, slight problem though. I need to which I need to make my other goons. I need to heal them up. You go down there and heal up automatically. Yeah, I uh, need to take that over, and once I've taken that over, then I'll start ferrying some drugs over there. As you can see though, it's a lot. It's really changed the balance of the game because I've I've now got two grow boxes growing away and making green drug and I'm selling green drug from up here you can see actually each area has got you know they can they can sell each one you don't have to have you don't have to take over different areas to take to sell each colored drug so every every place just sells it but the problem is that I guess not it's not really a problem it's a it's a it's I guess it's a sort of first world dealer problem is that I'm actually selling it almost faster than I can grow it so yeah it's a bit weird right, let's go at the bar I'm gonna send uh, Daryl and Leonard over there to attack the bar because then I'll actually get another dealer room so that's good but what I want to do now is start and pretty much expand my 
expand my area down the bottom here, but I'm not going to grow... Oh, violence over here. There we go. And I've taken one of them out, and uh, yeah, we still can't control them. So that guy waved in and then got taken out by Andrew, apparently. And we're going to get... Who's that, Leonard? I, don't, I can't click on it, as I said. So we're punching away here, and we're going to win that one. There we go. So we've now taken control of the bar. So we can hire someone if we wanted to. And we'll hire a dealer. I think we'll go for... That's Celebrate, 17.5 with a decent spread. We're going to go for Michael. There we go. So we've now got a dealer over here. So he's going to sell some stuff. However, they're a bit pissed off because we don't have any drugs. However, our ice cream van is now moving. You can set pickup location and drop off locations. And it'll say types. And you can say don't carry that, don't carry that. So that's all working now. That's fantastic. So we're just going to wait and uh, see if it automatically does stuff. And I think it will. So we're going to have junkies coming in and actually, uh, you know, buy stuff. I'm going to keep a goon over there. I think it's important to keep a goon in that location. We're going to hire a goon back here because obviously we don't want our main area to be um, open to abuse <laughs> from some junkie that comes in and just punches uh, the living hell out of the grow box and stuff. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. Hmm. Right, okay, so... That guy's unhappy because he can't sit down on a bench, I believe. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to change I'm going to change this bottom bit and I think what we'll do we'll sell green from here but then we'll have this one as white or something like that I haven't yet decided I still need to expand a little bit I'm going to spend expand that way because I'm going to put a chair there I'm going to put like a little seating room because I think I need to there you go look the trucks are actually moving now so you can you can manually change the trucks so you can say that one there we only want to say a setup drop off location. There you go and stuff. I I I don't think it's right there yet. I think there's a, it's still a little bit like you know you have to select this like starting location and things like that. And it's a, you know it gives you production sales and stuff. It's 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 about right. But uh, again, Alpha Games Alpha and such, it'll get there. I do like that. I do like the background. Like the moon glows a little bit. Don't know if there's been any worker there, but uh, it is quite detailed. Oh, it looks like we got a bit of fighting here. And <laughs> I don't know what that was. I think that was a junkie. I think that was that junkie. Was that that junkie there? Mm, might be that junkie there, yeah. Can we click on any... Can we click on all of these junkies? No. So why can we click on that one, Ralph? That's our, that's our goon. Eh. Uh, nah, whatever. He's also got patience as well. He is, our, he is a junkie, isn't he? Don't know. Let's have a look at our... How many people have we got? Uh, do we need to hire any more people? I don't think we really need to. Got uh, Leonard and Daniel. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm junky. There. There they are there. They're just waiting for drugs. That's all it is. There we are. Right, anyway. Money's going up, which is good. I'm going to build a room. I'm going to build a sofa. Resting room. Because I think it's important to do that. Uh, looks like we're not getting anyone over here. Oh, I think someone's coming in now. Please, come on. Come on. We deal drugs. Come on. Inside. Quick. It, you can buy them. Is that on fire? There's a little bit of flame coming around the back there. Is that the case for both areas? Nope. Just that one happens to be on fire. Don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of fire look. <laughs> there's fire just behind that window there. I think there's like an oil drum or something where they congregate around and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit dodgy. Anyway, we'll just ignore the fire. Right. Keep expanding. <laughs> Let's keep expanding the operation. What I want to do is build a room. I'm going to build a tiny storage there. And we want to start building uh, a different type of room. So we've got a grow box, we've got an acid stall, we've got a dope kitchen, we've got an Adam stand. But they're, they're very, very expensive. So don't think we'll bother with that one. I could expand operations. We've got a car service over there. We've got a silo over there. We've got a bar for, uh, on, on to the left here. Another bar. It's really changed the, uh, the look of this one. There's not as many big people. Oh, there we go. There's a construction site, which has already got a grow box down there and a bit of power as well, but it's got loads of other doors, which is pretty useless. There's an abandoned place, which is quite good for expansion, and an old bunker. Car service there again, a marketplace there. Oh my good grief, look at that. It's got four dealer rooms, two resting places, and two tiny storages there, which I guess would be a standard storage if you put two of them together, and then bars over there and construction site. Again, it's a randomly generated map, so obviously there might be times when you expand or start start a map and you go, yeah, this is actually much better than previously. You know, it, it could change and stuff, so yeah. Right, anyway, uh, what do we need to do? We need to check, I guess, how much money have we got? We've got a grand. What can I make for a grand? Nothing really. I could go for an acid stall, but I haven't got the power, so let's, let's dig that out and we'll put another power area here. 
because it says 12 of 15, you see. So we do need another generator. There we go. Standby generator. There we go. Don't know why it's a standby generator, but whatever. Right, so that guy's also pissed off as well. He's not really he's stamina as though, that's all it means. Hmm. He's uh, too busy making drugs. Oh, well. All right, we now have the power. And do I want to build an acid stall? We do make two acid from that one. But do I want to go... See, Adam... Well, how much does Adam sell for? I guess it sells for... Mm, let's check over here. Oh, they're really pissed off, look. Why are they all pissed off? It's because there's no drugs going over there. I could just get more green dealers. Ah, we're going to get a raid at the bar. So let me send people over because otherwise that wouldn't go so well. Move over there. Uh, yeah, that's ew, that's a dodgy one. Because I'm selling it here locally and doing quite well, we're not really getting all of the stuff over there. Hmm, that might be something I need to change. I'll tell you what I'll do. What I'll do, new plan, build room. I'm going to build a acid stall, right? And then what we'll do, we'll hire someone to work in it, and then we'll have the trucks, which I can't click on when they're in the garage, uh, only transport Adam over there. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Any second, we're going to have some uh, police brutality over here, but I'm not too bothered about that. I should be able to take it out because it's the first policeman that we've uh, encountered, so we should be able to knock them out, no problem. Let me just get our accelerate, 8.3, accelerate 9. I don't want that. I want higher production. 1.6, 1.8, 1.6. Andy, you're coming with me. You are now working there. All right, so we can produce... Some, what colour is it? It's purple. We can make some purple. And I don't know whether we'll flog it there or not. I don't know if that's the case. Can I not just click on the truck? Oh, looks like there's violence. I'm not going to bribe. I'm just going to fight. There we go. The police comes out and immediately we punch. Oh, there's uh, there's three police, but we've uh, we've taken care of business apparently. <laughs> that didn't take long. Um, <laughs> Good grief. Right, there we go. That is our... Van, and I'm going to say, don't fer ferry anything else other than, don't ferry green, only ferry acid, okay, so that's all it's going to uh, sell, that's all it's going to ship, so is that going to sell over there, mm, don't think so, well, what I need to do is move a goon back actually, let's go for move there, and we'll move Daniel over, why not, Right, how much money have I? Oh, I've got a nice bit of money. Let's make another acid stall then. There we go. Ah, right. So now we're starting to ship stuff. So we're going to say turn. Nope, that only only sends purple over here. Need to wait for that one to get sorted. Looks like they're not selling purple. Are they selling purple? Yep, oh, they're selling purple. There we go. We've got some junkies coming in now. That's good. And there's another van. Click on that van. And oh, it looks like the, oh, these types, because they're going to the same location... They've actually set the same, the types the same. That's okay, I can handle that. Right, okay, we need to hire another person to actually produce stuff. We'll go for Vince. And now we've got a lot of production going, I would say. Let's dig these out because we do have the cash. And we might think about expanding our operation. We could expand to another area or we could expand down. I'm thinking expanding down, but it does get a little bit more expensive when you do that. At this end, I'm going to build a room. I'm going to build a generator because I think it's important to get another one. And then I think maybe another goon stall would be... A goon, goon hut would be probably the way to go. Let's build a room. We'll build a security depot, otherwise known as the goon hut. And then... That's pretty much this filled out. I do think the changes have drastically improved the game, but I have changed the balance of it. I know there was a hot fix, uh, and I don't know whether that's because of balance or whether they just broke something generally, like a technical thing, but either way, I do like the changes. Definitely a step in the right direction. Let's just hire another goon, and 18, 16, 19, I'll go for you. But generally, the more expensive, the better, and we are tapped out on most things now. This is district management, and apparently we can oh, just go between the two. Oh! We can actually click on each cars from there. Ah, very good. Right, okay. So you can select each individual vehicle by clicking on it there. Fantastic. Right, so we've got two ice cream vans uh, going back and forward, which is quite good. Although we're not really selling uh, a lot of stuff over there. So maybe it's about time we... 
I could go to that construction site. But where would I ship it to? I think we'll go this way. We could we've got a car service there. Now I could take that over, but there's no real point in me doing that. Do I want to do that? Not entirely sure. I don't know where to take over, you know, if anywhere. That was trying to sell this thing here, but we're not. We're actually producing a lot more than we can sell, which is not great. So we need an area where we can sell some stuff. In the car service, we've got a garage there. Would I be able to put a dealer there? I don't think so. The problem... I'm going to take the car service over anyway because I can. And that's the only reason I need, really. So, it doesn't tell me where these people are. No, Start District. Yeah, that's right. It does tell me Start District. So, we'll just send the people from the Start District over the car service. We'll take that out just because it's next to me. And I might as well. Obviously, it levels them up as well. The problem I have is that I'm not selling this uh, purple fast enough. I'm shipping it over there, but as you can see, they're not. he's not selling it fast enough. So, let's just take this over here and lost a goon. There we go. Now we've taken that area over. I think we'll build a room and we'll probably build... We could build a dealer room. The problem is that I don't have a, sto a tiny a storage. So, there's no drop-off for it. So, I think what we'll do, we'll just go for a resting room. And then we might go for there's a bar over that side. Having a bar over that side should help. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll 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 take the bar over. We'll hire a couple more goons. We'll go for you and you. Nope, oh, we can't because we're maxed out. Then what we'll do? We will say take over the bar, and we want to get all three of our goons over there. Take that out, and then we will ferry over. From, I think from this side, we, obviously we're sending three trucks from the uh, to the bar here, and that's probably not a good idea. We'll start shifting that so we go over this side as well, so we'll split the difference. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. Right, so, going to keep a little bit of money until we uh, need it to build things. So here we go, goon truck turning up. There we go, violence music kicking in. Hmm. Looks like that copper worked out, because, um, yeah, he definitely works out that copper. Right, we've now got a bar. Excellent. Okay, so let's start uh, picking the truck. And again, we only want to ship one type of stuff. I want to say, set pickup location. Has to be our start district. Has to be. Drop off location. We want to go at the bar. But it doesn't tell me where it is. Uh, I guess that one then, because it's got no production and sales. So we'll apply that one. Alright, and we'll check our other ice cream vans. That one is drop off location. It's on auto, I believe. So it'll, it'll basically go between the areas it needs to go to. Oh, that's sending loads of green over there because I, di I didn't manage to change it before. Yeah, it didn't change. Um, I didn't manage to change it before it uh, started shipping stuff. Uh, do we want to do that? Do I want to ship? Green out? I could. I mean, I'm selling it over here, but I'm doing quite well. See, this is where this is where it's a little bit difficult now. I actually need to hire someone that can sell this thing. Sell rate is quite high. Oh, look at that guy there. He's really good. Spread is really good. Hi, that guy. Um, yeah, the, the problem I have is that I don't really know about this uh, new stuff. I don't really know if it's great or not. You know what? I'm just going to take this other bar over next to me because it's not got many people in there. Uh, we've only got one copper by the look of it. Take that out and then again we've got all this uh, all this side pretty much controlled which is good. Looks like they've decreased the amount of coppers that turn up as well which is uh, not a bad thing. There we go. Still wish we could get up more people but sadly not. There we go. We're going to hire another guy that can sell so I think you and then we need to really have that on drop off location we'll just say all three to be honest with you there we go so we've got all three to the bar to the truck we need this van ah, do we want to do that what I'll do this bar ah, I'm going to change this one I'm going to pick up location there drop off location It'll be that bar only. The reason that I select that one because it said uh, staff four, and it means that because of all these goons are in there, so that hasn't got staff four. I want the big truck, this big truck, to only go there because it's the furthest distance. I, you know, I, I just want it to pick up a lot of stuff and then head over there because it's quite far away. These other two, 
these other two, I got them set to auto so they can do their own thing, okay? Which is pretty cool. I'm still selling the green in this location, so we're doing well there. I'm going to bring... I'm going to move some goons about. So I want to bring a goon over to this bar. I think you should do it quite nicely. And then we need to go back to our home. Do we have someone over there? No, we don't. We need to go back to the bar. Move there. And we'll say Livingston. Uh, and I'll say Leonard. You move over there. We need at least one person... One goon at each bar. That's my. I think that's the. I think that's a good choice. Do that. This area here, I was going to make just a goon, a goon zone where I have um, a power plant there, and then just four goon terminals, and I just have it as the um, <laughs> the fighting silo. In fact, I might do that. Shall I do that? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But so far, I'm liking these changes. I do think it works a lot better. I'm. The problem is that I, I haven't got a feel of the balance yet for the for the trucks and stuff. Obviously, this this thing here that's just filling up with um, loads of purple. Over this side, that's just green. But even though I said don't ferry green to there. Hopefully, that'll be finished off soon. And oh, it's actually uh, we got is that Marcus? I'm gonna say is that a female junkie at the moment? Looks like they're all male junkies, but I don't know if we get both male and female. Uh, there's someone there. Barry. That doesn't look like a Barry to me. I mean, you know, each to one's own, fine. But, uh, no. Looks like a Barrietta. Right. Is that a weapon? <laughs> That's a... That's a Beretta. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, right. We're shipping over there to the bar on the far left. That's fine. We've got the bar here uh, with some green, but we're shipping other stuff to it. I'm guessing this purple is going there. Let's have a quick look. I hope it's going to drop off there. Oh man, what good grief, I just realised how much cash I've got. I've got loads of cash, four grand. Wow. Uh, I'm doing quite well. Dig these out, yep. Yeah, because we can. I don't know what I'm going to produce in here. But I'm just going to dig all them all out because I can. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do as well is go to the silo. And actually say, all of you three. There we go. Head over there. And we'll get the goon bus on. And we'll start attacking them and take the silo out. Because I am going to make the goon place that I mentioned before. So, it's going to be a while. I don't know if they're going to drop them off separately, I assume so. Uh, I think they're waiting. Yeah, that's at least that's, that's again, a smart move. So, instead of them going in one by one, they're waiting for all the trucks to turn up. And then they'll all go in. So, here we go. And we'll turn up. And we're going to go bat, 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 bong. There we go. One's down. Two's down. But the... Oh, we've managed to take it over. Fantastic. Right, build room. I think we'll build a standby generator. And then we're going to build a... Ah, oh, we haven't got any of them yet. What we'll do, we're going to send to our start district. These three guys. One, two, three. Move them over. And then once that's gen... Once the generator has been built... <laughs> I'm going to build room. Security depot. Build room. Security depot. Build room. Security depot. And build room. Security depot. That says build, but the button says buy. Mm, annoying. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> so, we now have... Um, what's our total capacity now? Seven. So, we're going to hire. Six. Uh, we can't hire any more. But I don't really care because I'm just going to say construction site. Uh, everybody want one, two, three, four, five, six... Attack. <laughs> what else have we got? Got an abandoned. Uh, we've got an abandoned place. Old bunker. Car service. Marketplace. Oh, they've got their pig heads. Oh, they're quite um, quite tough. So I control about. Once I take this center bit over, I officially control half of the map. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, yeah. If I take this over, I control more than half the map. Oh, good grief! These guys are really tough. But I am just waving into them with my goons. And, yeah, I've managed to take an over... I've just taken over the construction site. Fantastic. Right. I think we're going to say, bar, move there. And we're going to get all of these goons to move over there. Because, obviously, some of them are... Well, Owen's almost dead. We'll say move over there. Higher. And, wow, 17 seconds. We'll get some more. To be honest with you, I think I am going to leave it there. Because there's nothing more to really... Uh, to really show. But, basically, that's basement. And it's been improved. I like it more now. I still don't think it's anywhere near there, but uh, it is definitely going in the right direction and stuff. So.
Still love the theme, but uh, yeah, I think I'm doing quite well. I've got nearly three mil. This is better than I've ever done. Three mil, and I've just got you know a big pile of goons that I can just purchase and just say hi. Yeah, there's another goon. Don't do not even read the stats. I just need more, and I'm just gonna keep taking over stuff. So I'm just gonna say fight, and then everybody go there. You know, Don, you go over there as well. There we go, there's another four. I'll take that abandoned place over. That should be easy to take over the abandoned place. All bunker, very easy as well. Car service, there's only one guy in there. That's going to be very easy. Marketplace is going to be difficult because it's got three pig-headed guys in. This one, the bar, pretty much easy. Yeah, and I think the other ones, these are going to be very, very simple. So, yeah, TLDR, I won pretty much, I think. Um, <laughs> and we could continue on, but yeah. Bit of basement for you. Links in the description as always. I will uh, keep an eye out on this one. I mean, I've been, I always keep an eye out on the um, the games that I uh, feature and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's in, this, the updates, uh, it's intri it intrigues me. It does intrigue me a bit. Anyway, leaving it there. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.